Puppy and I'm going to be your fitness coach for today. So today's video is a very basic whole body workout. We're going to be using just a few pieces of equipment. I've had some requests from people that have uh, weights and bands at home, but they're very beginning in the very beginning stages of working out. So this is a basic uh, program for them. So we're going to be using weights, a band, your chair is going to be a great tool. And a couple things I want you to notice with the bands, um, it's really difficult to know precisely what color because there are so many colors out there now. Um, but a couple of safety things. You always want to check your band, uh, especially if you've had it in storage for a while because especially in Arizona, these dry out. And so what we don't want is as you're using it, it to snap and uh, get you in the face so I always check my band by kind of running my hand across it and making sure that there's no cracks or holes. You can pull the band if there's, if there's a rough spot and you'll be able to see if there's a little hole there. And then if there is, you need to get rid of it and get a new one. Um, having said that, basically the best way to test a band is to get it out of the box um, and try a couple bicep curls with it. I'm going to show you that real quick. Now my band has a protector on it. You can see this piece of extra, um, it's a piece of rubber really that goes over the band, it slides. And that's to protect the band when you put your foot on it or if you're hooking it around something. So it just protects the actual band itself. Um, so if you're in a store and you're just trying to figure out, mm, I don't know if this band, I would step on it with just one foot and we'll talk about the placement in a second. And then just stand tall, connect your elbows in, and curl. And that should be a little challenging. So if I were going to do t maybe 10 bicep curls, maybe on like 7, 8, I want, I want it to start to get a little bit more difficult. Okay? So that's kind of a guesstimate. It used to be yellow was really easy. Your green was m like a medium or a moderate. And then your reds or your blacks were your harder. Because there's so many colors out there, you almost need to read the box and see... Uh, but a medium band typically would be a good place to start because you'll find that you actually will progress pretty quickly with the band. Um, with resistance training using a band, what we notice is that your strength potential um, is faster. You achieve strength faster because you have a negative component when you're working with the band. So it's a great tool. So that's one thing. Um, let's really quick, since I have the band here, let's talk about uh, how you use the band, et cetera, et cetera. So we always want to make sure no matter how we're using it, it's securely fastened. Whether it's fastened to a doorknob or you're using it in a round, uh, on like a bed uh, leg, if you're doing rows, those kinds of things. Just want to make sure that it is securely fastened before you start using it in that modality to be safe. Okay? The other thing we want to think about is when we're using these, and we're going to be doing this today, is when we stand on the band with one foot, the lever, the length of the band is still fairly long, so it's going to be a little more difficult to do a bicep curl, but not as difficult as if I took both of my feet onto the band. So we've decreased the, the lever length here, and now this is a little bit more challenging. So again, to keep it going more challenging, more challenging, you would just cre create a wider base, and you're just putting a lot more tension on this band. So that's kind of how the spacing aspect works as far as creating kind of an easy, moderate, and then a harder workout with one tool. Um, so that's the band. We'll be using that for upper body uh, as we go along. Your free weights, uh, basically whatever you have at home, if you have light, uh, medium, and then heavy, you could, what we could do in that scenario is you could do the same workout we're doing now, but each time we come around to the same, same exercises, but a different set, you could add a higher weight and decrease your reps if you need to. We're just going to keep it very basic and simple in this video. Everything we're going to do is 10 reps. So um, once you be aware of your breath, make sure you're breathing. I will constantly be giving you postural clues. Um, I may give you other options of ways in which you could do this exercise if you don't have that uh, set up or if that's not comfortable for you. The last thing I want to review, we are going to be doing two different um, core sets. So what we're going to do is we're going to warm up in a second and then we're going to do a lower body 
And in between each two exercises, you're going to do a corset. So the first corset is called corset one, and the other one will be corset two. So corset one, when I cue you to go to corset one, you're gonna be coming to a chair. We will take a weight. We're gonna be holding it. See how far forward I am in the chair? And this weight is gonna extend as I lean back. So we're gonna do 10 of those. And then on the 10th one, you're staying back. We're in this half connection, connecting the core. And I want you to really work that rotation, okay? So that will be corset one. When I cue you, that's where you're gonna go with that. And then for corset two, we'll be moving this chair out of the way. You'll actually be coming down onto your hands and knees. And the first one is you're going to be going into plank, and we're just going to hold for 10 seconds. After we've held for 10 seconds, you're going to come back to your knees, and we're going to do alternating what we call dead bug. Okay? So that'll be corset two, and I'll cue you on that. So just so you know now that corset one is in the chair, corset two is down here. So having said all of that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to actually use the chair for a kind of a mobility warm-up. So I'm going to bring the chair right here. The other item I am going to be using today is just a towel when we do our calf raises, just to give us a little bit of a stretch for the Achilles tendon, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So you've got your chair, and as always, when we use a chair, we want to make sure that that chair is uh, a good solid chair, that it can bear weight, and that it's on a surface that is a non-slip surface. So again, we just want to talk about safety always, always. So I'm going to face the chair. And what I'm gonna to do to warm up is I'm gonna tap under the chair. You may have seen this in other videos. We're gonna do 10 taps under the chair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're gonna tap on top of the chair. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four to go. Three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna take my right leg. It's gonna come over the top of the chair. Now left, that's two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go right back to the beginning. Tap under the chair for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I want you to tap on top for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Over the top, there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. I want you just to let the arms swim front and back. Two more, you're gonna cross in front, open wide. Good, let's do two more. Now gently take your right arm and let it swing. And then depending on your shoulder, very gently, I want you to do a full circle for five, four, three, two. You're gonna go ahead and reverse that for five, four, three, two, one. Let's do the other side, so let it swing. You're gonna go backwards first for five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna reverse, coming forward for five, four, three, two, one more, and one, and shake it out. Okay, we're gonna start with the lower body first, and the first thing we're gonna do is warm up the calf muscles. So here comes the towel. I am gonna bring this chair forward, and I'm gonna place the towel behind the chair, and what I want is the ball of my foot up the heel down, and I'm actually gonna use the wall to keep me nice and tall because the chair's a little low. I'm placing the ball of my foot up onto the towel, the heel is down. So you should already feel a little bit of a stretch in your Achilles tendon, keeping the core tight. You can put your other hand here. You're gonna go up on your toes and lower down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six to go, five, four, three, two, and one, and breathe. Now this next one's a little bit tricky. The, the soleus, which is the smaller muscle underneath the gastroc, 
works with the knees bent. So we're gonna work that too. So I'm gonna bend my knees and I'm actually going to move the chair forward a little bit more. My heels are down, my knees stay bent. The key is to keep my knee and my hip angle steady. And I'm just putting my forearms here. And now I just wanna lift the heels and lower for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, it's a little tricky, three, two, one. I'm gonna walk my hands on, press and come up. Now you could do that one seated. Let me show it to you real quick. I could be seated here. I could go ahead and put this down. I could take my weights if I wanted to add it. Put the weights here and go right here. Same concept. So that's another way you could work the soles. Okay, so we've just done those. We're gonna go right to corset one. I'm gonna grab one weight, come forward on my chair. I'm gonna extend the arms out as I lean back and I'm gonna do 10. So here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven. Inhale, exhale, six, five, four to go. Three, two, I'm gonna stay here, but hover off the chair. Keep pulling in from my abdominal wall. My hip and rib are connected. I'm gonna bring this weight right to my chest and I'm gonna to touch my tricep to the side of my chair. I'm gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in, exhale as you come all the way up and you go, good job. So I'm gonna put the weight down. So we've done calves. Now we're gonna to go to lunges. I'm going to use this chair because it's a great tool, especially for those of you who have not done a lot of lunges. So what I'm going to do is actually put a free weight in one hand so you can weight these. I'm gonna put them in my outside hand. So I'm standing, I have my right leg in towards the chair, my left arm is out and have my free weight. I'm gonna take my right heel, it's gonna go past this front leg. I'm gonna step my left foot back and I wanna square the hips. My feet are about hip width apart. I'm gonna bend that front leg, bend the bottom leg, use my arm here to support, and I'm gonna take it down and up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six to go, five, four more, three, two, and one. So what do we wanna look for in a lunge? The chest stays nice and perpendicular, to the floor. Your front leg is at 90 degrees, your back leg is close, relaxing your shoulders and pressing up. So now we're just gonna switch sides. I'm gonna take my outside leg as far as the other leg was. When you're in this stride position, y'all, you wanna make sure that that back heel is spun up. Otherwise, you're gonna take that knee over your toe and that's not good. So from this position again, we're coming straight down. So you can see my knee is right over my instep here. Chest is lifted. Two, three, four. Keep the breath going. Inhale, exhale, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. You have one more. And 10, nice job. You're gonna step it in, shake it out. So we're gonna go right into squats and we're gonna go to corset two. So from here, I'm gonna walk my feet fairly wide, okay? I'm gonna take this weight and I'm gonna hold it, bring it right in my chest, let the elbows flare. I'm gonna sit back and see if I can tap this chair and come up, so let's do 10. So 10, nine, eight, seven, inhale, exhale. Six, keep your core in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Big breath in, take your weight down. You notice your heart rate is up, that's good. We're gonna move the chair off. We're gonna come on all fours. And I'm gonna come kind of at a diagonal, just so I have more space here. So I'm in this, what we call, kind of tabletop position with my body, and I'm gonna go into plank. And when we're in plank, we wanna make sure that the shoulder, elbow, and wrist are in one line. So I'm gonna pop up into plank. 
I want to not let my body sag. I want to pull up. Get your shoulders on the back, and we're just holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Stay strong. 4. Reach to the crown of your head. 3, 2, and 1. Bring your knees down. Come back to that tabletop position. So my right arm and my left leg are going to reach, and I'm going to switch. That's 1. Now here's 2. Now, I want to make sure that I'm not opening the hip here. I think that's three. Good, and four. And five. And number six. And seven. We have two more sets. This is eight. Nine. Last one. And 10. Breathe. Nice job. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and tuck the toes, push back, and I want you to come into a modified dog pose. You can walk your feet in, you can just come up on your hands and knees and step up. I'm just gonna round all the way up. Circle the shoulders. Nice job. So, we're going to go now with our free weights to our uh, upper body. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is called a bicep curl with an overhead press. You may have seen it in like a P90X, it's called the swimmer. I like it because it, it's um, kind of a smooth exercise, but it's also a really nice functional exercise. So think of how many things we pick up and then we have to pull away somewhere. So from this position, I've got my free weights. I'm going to let the arms just hang for a second. Now, as I initiate the bicep curl, I'm going to have the arms come in. I'm going to bicep curl all the way up. From here, turning and rotating of the forearm, and I'm going to press straight up. And then I'm going to come down to the knees. So let's put it together. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Make sure we're in the camera view here. So here we go. Turn, press overhead, we come down, good, one. That's two. Keep tight in the core, this is three. You're doing great. That's four. And number five. This is six. Remember, everything we're doing today is based on 10. That was seven. This is eight. Nine. And 10. Nice job, breathe. So this next one is called eyes and T's. And what I want you to think about on this one is you want to keep the wrist below the shoulder. And I'm going to actually kind of turn on a diagonal. So the first one, we're going to come straight out. The second one, the arms will go out to the side. Okay, so this is the letter I and the letter T. Good, so that's one. This is two. Number three. Keep that breath going. Number four. Number five. Number six. Inhaling and exhaling, number seven, number eight, number nine, last one, and number 10. So we're going back to core set one. I'm gonna put one weight away, I'm gonna grab my chair. And you all probably have more space than I have, so you won't have to keep moving everything around. But for me right now, we're just gonna do that. And I'm here, sitting forward. Press out as we lean back for one, two, three. Inhale, exhale, four, five. Keep pulling back from that abdominal. This is seven. Number eight, nine. Remember, you're staying back, bringing the weight in. Give me 10, 10, nine, eight, six, five, three, two, one. Come to center, come all the way up, and you go, ah. Very, very nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead 
and go to a uh, next two exercises. And this is the one I get asked about the most. It's for the back of the arm, the tricep. As we age, unfortunately, that muscle doesn't look so good. So this one is a tricep kickback. We're gonna stay seated. And then we're gonna do a delt uh, extension kickback too. So many times people confuse the delt and the tricep. They, they're doing a really a delt exercise, but they think they're doing tricep. So I am gonna scooch over to my chair just a tiny bit. I'm gonna take my weight into my outside arm and I wanna connect it right to my hip. My shoulder stays on my back and my elbow is in line. And from here, I'm thinking from the elbow, 90 degrees to 180, my shoulder is not going to move. So I'm just kicking back and coming back. So let's do 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, breathe, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Now we're gonna to switch to the other side. You can hop over a little bit to the other side. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep the core connected, five to go. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, I'm gonna bring this back over. Now, the difference on this one is my arm is gonna be straight. I'm still at that same angle, but I'm lifting straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to switch it over. Arm is straight. Straight back. One, two, three. Keep the chest lifted. Four. Pull in on the core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, nice job, bring that weight forward, circle the shoulders, nice. We're gonna go to corset two, so I'm gonna put my weight back, slide my chair out of the way, come all the way down on my hands and knees. I'm gonna pop it up into plank, pull up, set the shoulders for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, set it up, alternating right and left. One, two, three, four, doing great, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And breathe. Big breath in, exhale. Big breath in, exhale. Good job, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and come back and I'm going to use my chair again to show you a seated row. Okay, we're gonna move to the band. Now, here's the deal. Um, there's a million and one ways to do um, rows. You can do them standing, you can do them seated, seated, you can do them on the ground with the uh, band high. Again, we're just keeping it simple for this video. And I don't wanna assume that um, you have the ability to put it on a doorknob. So for this video today, we're gonna be just using the chair and our feet as the kind of connection to create the anchor for this row. So I want to find the center of my band and what I'm going to do is go over the tops of my shoes. I'm going to go around, crisscross underneath and now I have a shorter, I'm going to walk my feet out. I'm leaving my toes kind of flexed up so that the band stays securely there. I'm lifting up. Now, if you feel not comfortable with that, you may want to put your feet right on the band so it can't go anywhere. And that's completely acceptable as well, okay? Because the goal is for the band to stay, not to slide off and hit you in the head. From this position, what I want to do is I'm going to keep my hands in neutral position with the palms in, and I'm just going to pull back with both hands at the same time, and almost like I'm pulling the band back to my rib cage, 
My goal is to move the heart forward a little bit, the chest forward, and see if I can get my shoulder blades to come together on the back. So here we go, big breath in, and pulling back one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Big breath in. I'm going to uncross. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this band around and I'm actually going to sit on it. And I want to make sure, again, I'm sitting right in the middle and I have it right where my hamstring and my glutes meet. And I want to make sure that the band is even on both sides. From this position, I'm turning the band, elbows are forward, palms are up, and I'm doing an overhead press. So I want to press into my feet, pull back from the waistline as I press straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and release. Nice job. I'm going to wiggle that band out. Put it to the side for a second. We're going to grab that free weight and we're going to add that corset one. Free weight, I'm forward in the chair, leaning back, pushing the weight forward. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 more, 4, 3, 2. Stay in the back, bring your weight in, keep pulling in here. Let's add the rotation. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come all the way up. Go. Ah, nice job. All right, we're coming back to the band, and I'm going to turn my chair because this one is actually for your um, to help with your rotator cuff. So it's interlexternal rotation. So, because this is a video and I'm mirror teaching you, I want you guys to put your band right in the middle. So half, get that band measured so you know where the middle is. Put it right on the top of your right thigh, okay? Now the part that's on this outside, y'all, is gonna come inside, all right? And it's gonna go into my left hand. So the outside goes inside, it comes over to my, excuse me, my right hand. I want you to take your left hand and you're going to hold this band here, okay? Keep everything connected. My right elbow, <coughs> excuse me, my right elbow is going to come to my waist. I want a 90 degree bend at the elbow and we're going to pull out and in. Now we want to try not to let the body move, just the arm, okay? So from this position, here I am, I'm going to connect and I'm going to pull out one. Now, I feel like mm, I need to go a little tighter because it's too easy. So I just slide that band a little more. Here I am. Make sure your wrist stays neutral. And I'm pulling one, two, three, four. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over. I'm going to grab it here, connect. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. I'm going to undo the band. Now we're going to actually do one more set of those. I'm going to find that middle again and I'm going to walk my feet right together. I want to grab the band and I'm going to go ahead and keep my thumbs up here. Elbows are going to come together and I'm uh, probably about eight inches uh, wide on this band. My thumbs are up and I'm trying to pull apart and get those shoulders on my back. Now if you can't pull apart, you're going to need to go a little wider. Elbows must stay here. Thumbs are up. And here we go. Pull one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Nice job. Now, we're, we're going to do one more exercise, and then we'll go to corset two. I want to do some wrist curls while we're here in the chair. It'll just be easier. I'm going to start with <clears throat> my left arm this time. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just not even try to go in the middle because what we want to do is put enough um, resistance on this arm. So I'm going to take my left arm and I'm going to rest it on my thigh. And I want you, if I turn sideways, it might be easier for you to see this. There you go. What I want is this elbow not to come up, you guys. So the elbow stays down. We've got the band here and we're just going to curl here. <clears throat> Then I'm going to have you turn over, keep that elbow down, and lift here. So we're working the wrist extensors and flexors of the form, okay? So I want it to feel like it's pulling my hand down, so I know I have enough tension there. I'm going to keep that elbow down, and you can place your other hand here, and I'm just going to curl up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. I'm going to flip it over. Elbow stays down. Now I'm pulling up one, two. It's a small range of motion. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to switch and do the other side. I'm just going to turn so it'll be easier for you guys to see. Now you're doing your right side. You want to get enough tension on this band so it makes you feel like that wrist is really getting pulled down. So from this position, elbow stays down. We're lifting up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. I'm going to flip that arm over. Good. And I'm just lifting up here one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. All right, last thing we're going to do since we're here, I'm going to grab my weights. Both arms are hanging. Same idea, looking at what we just did with the band. Keep the elbows down and you're going to curl up one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to flip it over, lift it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, here's one we didn't do with the band. I'm going to hold the head of my weights. Now, if you have like five pounds, you're going to stay right here. So, let me show you both ways. I'm going to hold it right in the center, and I'm going to open all the way up and all the way in. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If that's way easy, you can now take your hands and hold the head of the weight. You just have to kind of take your arms a little wider apart. So again, we're keeping the elbow down. But we're working that forearm. This would be like level two using your weight, depending on how heavy your weight is. If you have like a one or two pound, you may be able to go right there. If you have a three or a four, you may have to kind of do it a couple of times just holding into the center. Good. I think I have one more. Good. All right. So now we're going to move the chair out of the way, go back to core step two on the floor, and then we're coming all the way up. We're going to do one finale with the band again, and we're back to the beginning. Good job, y'all. All right, hands and knees. Going into plank, I'm pulling up, setting the shoulders. I'm extending back to plank for 10, 9, 8, 7. Relax your head, 6. Keep pulling up from your belly, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming back down, hands and knees, lining up knee and hip, making sure wrist and elbow are in one line. Here we go, 1. And two, three, four, five, keep the breath going, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Nice job. Breathe. 
Good job. We're going to come all the way up. Grab your band. All right, y'all. So this next one is designed to get your heart rate up a little bit. I don't want you to overdo the arms. Just kind of keep your form really well. But when we get to the frontal and the side raises, you may not be able to go very high. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead, use one foot on my band. And I want to go ahead and take the other foot for right now. I'm just going to go ahead and step it back. From this, but actually, let, I changed my mind. Let's take that leg. Let's bring it all the way through because I think it'll be better if it's all the way. So you can see the band is on my left. I have my right foot forward. From this position, elbows connect. Give me 10 bicep curls. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep the breath going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Now I'm going to take the arms out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to turn sideways for a second so you guys can see. I'm taking my thumbs to the tops of the, the little handles, bringing the handles right into my hips. Chest goes open. I'm going to kick back. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, deltoid, straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, you guys. I'm going to go ahead. I have that foot in the front. I'm going to step that foot back. Arms straight up with straight elbows. One, two, three, four. These are the eyes. Five. Frontal raises. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go upright row. I'm going to touch my thumbs like you're zipping up a parka. One, two, three. I like to hook my fingers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. I'm going to slide that band out, circle those shoulders, take a big breath in. Good job, y'all. So that is one set of everything. As you get stronger, you're going to go to two sets. So you might go through this whole circuit twice. And then you get, my goal would be for you to get through it like three times. That would be great. I'm going to go ahead and just take you through a couple stretches and you're ready for to be done for today. So from this position, go ahead and have a seat. Come forward in your chair. I want you to take your shoulders and squeeze up towards your ears five times. Two, three, four, circle five. One, two, three, four. You're going to reverse for five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to turn this way so you can see better from here. I'm going to extend my right leg for you guys, your right leg. This is my left, but you guys are going to go right. Up tall, lean forward. Support. Reach for your shin or your toe. A couple of deep breaths here. Good. Two more breaths. Nice. One more breath. We're going to go ahead. Let's cross that same leg, ankle over knee. I'm going to put my forearm in here, pushing out and leaning in. So I'm stretching the hips and the glutes. Keep the core connected. Relax your shoulder here. Oh, good. Give me one more breath. Good. Let's repeat that lower body hamstring stretch first. Leg extends, leaning forward. Reach for your shin or your toe. Extend through your spine. Relax your head and neck and breathe. Good. Give me two more breaths. So we're going to go into that outer hip stretch next. Nice. Let's go ahead and come back. Cross it over. I'm putting my forearm in here, pressing out, leaning in. Relax your shoulders and just breathe. Oh. Good. Give me two more full breaths. Nice. We're going to go back to your delts and your triceps. 
And then you'll be all done. One more breath. Uncross. Nice job. I'm just going to turn it a diagonal so you can see. Let's have you all take your right arm out and bring it across and stretch the shoulder. Let's rotate that palm. Beautiful. Open up that right arm. Pat yourself on the back for the tricep and turn the head. Kind of get that neck sorted out a little bit. Beautiful. Release. Let's do the other side. Left arm. Bring it across. Stretch. Rotating that palm. Good. You're going to open up that left arm. Pat yourself on the back. Good. Turn the head again. Awesome. Bring that head back to center. Release. Arms circle your shoulders. And that's your basic whole body workout for today. Again, you're starting with just one set, going through that. Then when you're strong enough or feel like everything is working, I'd go to two sets. Take out what doesn't work, keep in what works. Um, if you want to um, put comments in this video of what more you would like to see or anything that you would like to see different, let me know. I'm definitely open always to suggestions. You all have a great rest of your day. And again, keep moving, y'all. This is, this is important for us to stay healthy both from a mental and a physical standpoint. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.